They told me to tell you to get off, and that's what I'm telling you. You mean get off my own land? Oh, don't go to blaming me. It ain't my fault. Whose fault is it? You know who owns the land, the Shawnee Land and Cattle Company. And who's the Shawnee Land and Cattle Company? It ain't nobody. It's a company. They got a president, ain't they? They got somebody who knows what a shotgun's for, ain't they? Oh, son, it ain't his fault because the bank tells him what to do. All right. Where's the bank? Tulsa. What's the use of picking on him? He ain't nothing but the manager. And he's half crazy himself trying to keep up with his orders from the east. Then who do we shoot? Brother, I don't know. What decade are we in? I have to be honest, I never thought that The Grapes of Wrath would strike me as the most topical movie for right now. But here we are. People are losing their homes, losing their jobs, losing everything, and nobody knows exactly who's to blame. The Grapes of Wrath takes us down into the depths of the Dust Bowl, and it follows the Jodes, a family from Oklahoma who gets kicked off of their land and goes off to California in search of a brighter future. We'll be coming through here tomorrow, you know. I know. We be out. We be out by sunup. The central figure is Tom Jode, played by Henry Fonda, who returns home after a stretch in prison to find that his home is about to disappear. This is a wonderful performance by Henry Fonda, and it's very important to the movie because it'd be very easy to play Tom Jode as a kind of plaster saint, a voice of the downtrodden, a personification of the people. But instead, Fonda gives it a lot of shading and shadow. There's an almost sinister aspect, an undercurrent of anger and barely controlled violence in the way that he approaches the character. I'm just trying to get along without shoving anybody, that's all. It's a very sophisticated piece of filmmaking. It's not propaganda, it's genuine art. This is partly because John Ford and his cinematographer, Greg Toland, who's also the guy who shot Citizen Kane, create an extraordinary range of visual textures. There are moments that look like documentary photographs from the 1930s, like the work of Walker Evans or Dorothea Lang, and there are other parts that seem like German expressionist dramas or even horror movies. There are crowd scenes, there are moments of low comedy and heartbreaking intimacy, but it's also an example of large-scale mainstream Hollywood filmmaking. It's from a big studio, it has a big star, it was made by a top director, and watching this movie now made me think, if the hard times are back, maybe it's time for Hollywood to stand up again for the downtrodden and the dispossessed. Wherever there's a fight so hungry people can eat, I'll be there. Wherever there's a cop beating up a guy, I'll be there. I'll be in the way guys yell when they're mad. I'll be in the way kids laugh when they're hungry and they know supper's ready. And when the people are eating the stuff they raise and living in the houses they build, I'll be there too.